we need to know a lot more about these new roles, how it's actually happening on the ground, where it works better, what are the sort of benefits and deficits, uh, so that we can then pick that up nationally and think, okay, we can now we can now avoid these mistakes or capitalize on this. I think this is much more about the practical uh, implementation than it is about the rest. So, um, so you know, I think we've got a great, great, great ideas in developing new roles. Uh, some of those are around peer support workers, so bringing people with existing mental health problems or who've had experience of mental health problems into the workforce. But we've also got these other programs which are bringing in things like graduate psychologists and so on. And so um, bringing all of those in, having a more systematic way of, say, training people, uh, ensuring that they're able and competent to do particular types of interventions, or, um, as I think is true for peer support workers, being able to help people with the experience of care and ensuring that the experience of care is you know, as, as good as we can make it. Um, this piece of research, I think, will give us a much better understanding of the, the, the world of mental health that these roles are coming into and how we can make them work better. Um, and, and that could be through a number of different routes, some in looking at the roles themselves, some in looking at the places, the, the new teams that they're brought into, um, or indeed, what's the impact on other workers within that setting? So it will give us a, a, very, a, a very rich understanding of how these roles uh, are coming into the NHS. They represent an opportunity to develop a new kind of role, which doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean you've got to be a nurse or a doctor or whatever else. So it does mean that we can now train up people and bring them into mental health, um, people who are, have not been in mental health before. So that, that's a real positive. Um, so it means we can expand the workforce more easily. Um, doesn't mean to say that we don't, we don't need nurses. We do. <laughs> yeah, We need nurses. We need doctors. We need clinical psychologists. What we now need with these new psychological practitioners, whether it's in schools or in the NHS or you know, secondary care or in primary care, um, we need to now, and we are doing this, developing a, a professional structure for those new psychological practitioners that links up with clinical psychology, but is not in itself clinical psychology. So it does a number of things. It expands the workforce. It expands the, the pool of people that we can bring into mental health. Um, it, um, and it expands up the skilled workforce. Um, uh, but it also gives us um, a, an opportunity to, to, to implement nice guidance in a way we've not been able to before. Because the, the big gap in mental health is being able to do psychological therapies. You know, I, can, I can give out antidepressants relatively easily. Yeah, um, and you can do that. You, you, you don't have to spend hours and hours doing it, although it's wise to do it slowly and carefully. Um, but uh, what with the gap has been psychological therapies. When you look at something like uh, NHS talking therapies, that's incredibly structured and nationally driven. So that, that means you know, you, you've got a, a very tightly controlled workforce with very tight curricula for their training, uh, with competency frameworks that are all in place. And I would imagine that things like local leadership and local team structures will be of, le of less relevance. Whereas when you move towards peer support workers or new roles within community mental health teams, they are less uh, nationally prescribed um, and coordinated. And I would think that, that local factors are much more important in that context. There is guidance around peer support workers, but I don't think that's universally mandated or, you know, it's, it's not, um, 
there are peer support programs um, for developing peer support workers in different parts of the country, many of which are very different. And I think there's th- this particular piece of research will be very interesting in that regard, particularly. 